is my home in the lord is my head is my shield and my strength is my fortress i stand firm i've no fear of the night and the shadow I've no fear of the blood that lurks around for your light shines so long in the darkness and your brightness leads me on in the Lord this my home in the lord is my help is my shield and my strength is my fortress i stand firm brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus I welcome all of you to this Eucharistic celebration being celebrated in the Vivana TV I offer this mass for the following intentions Archdiocese of Hyderabad Golconda Parish this mass is offered for the Vivana TV corpus fund donor late Yerva Tekla Reddy for good health of Yerva Rosemary and good future of all family members for the departed soul of Erwa take clarity by family today's rosary divine mercy chaplet word of God holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions this mass is offered for the departed soul of Mrs. P. Wolinski by her children son-in-law daughter-in-law and grandchildren in a special way we pray for these intentions and also offer our own in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in life, when we see, mostly we compare our life with others the things that we have, the talents that we have, or the way that we progress, we begin to compare with others. Sometimes we take it as an inspiration or sometimes we are discouraged. And today our Lord Jesus to Peter is saying, do not compare, mind your business. And what he says is, follow me. You are called and you need to follow. That's your commitment. So my dear brothers and sisters, very often we also do the same. We focus on trivial things, very minute things. But the main important thing is that we need to follow Jesus. So the question for us is, are we following Jesus? We are called to be his disciples. Are we following his way? With these thoughts in mind, my brothers and sisters, let's think about our life. Think about our sinfulness, our limitations, our wrongdoings, or sometimes the way we relate to God is very, very minimum. Think about all our failures and ask God's pardon and mercy so that we become worthy participants and celebrant of this Eucharistic celebration.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may be may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 28, verse 16 to 20 and 30 to 31. The Acts of the Apostle, chapter 28, verse 16 to 20 and 30 and 31. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself with a soldier that guarded him. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Brethren, though I have done nothing against the people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty because there was no reason for the death penalty in, the, in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I, was, I am bound with this chain. And he lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ quite openly and unhindered. Quite openly and unhindered. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response shall be, The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright, the upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. Your response, The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall, shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Your response. The upright shall see your face, O Lord. The upright shall, shall see your face, O Lord. Oh 
Haleluya, 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 Haleluya. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 21, verses from 20 to 25. Peter turned and saw following them the disciples whom Jesus loved, who had lain close to his breast at the supper, and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that ye remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad, among the brethren, that this disciple was not to die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die. But if it is my will that ye remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did, where every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we see our own life, we are interested in two things. One is, we begin to live our life for an ultimate goal. We want to achieve that ultimate and highest point in life. And secondly, sometimes we take a wrong way of comparing and envying the things that others possess. So, we are called to follow Jesus. That is the first aspect that we will be reflecting. And secondly, we are discouraged from comparing ourselves with others. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, there was a professor, he was teaching philosophy and you know, professors, mostly uh, those who are in philosophy, they will be always thinking and they begin to make an analysis. Here this particular professor of philosophy, he was so thirsty and he wanted to drink a glass of water. So this professor takes that uh, glass of water and then he begins to look at it. Then 
he began to make an analysis. He expounds that glass of water and he says, Hey, this is a glass of water. Then afterward he says, But is it a glass of water? Again he questions. And if it is a glass of water, why is it a glass of water? And why it is called as glass of water? So he makes an analysis. He philosophizes that glass of water. Then he fails to drink. And after that, he collapses because he is so thirsty and he did not drink water. My dear brothers and sisters, for him, the main thing at that moment was to drink water, not to make an analysis of that. So also, we sometimes, we are preoccupied with many things. And we are also focus on non-essential things, trivial things, very small and minute matters which are no use at all in life. But we fail to get that ultimate thing that Jesus wants from us and that is seeking the eternal kingdom. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will follow. Everything will be given to you, but seek the first, the kingdom of God. So here, when Peter was preoccupied to know what John, the beloved disciple, will be getting, so he was so preoccupied, and Jesus is telling him, mind your business, and that business is, you follow me. Don't compare with anything and whatever it is, my dear brothers and sisters. The second aspect is, we begin to compare with others. And today, uh, who is going to betray and who is going to die? Then uh, Jesus looked at Peter. Then Peter immediately said, what about John? What about John? Then Jesus said, you know, he will be there until I come back. And then they understood that this John is not going to die. And that was the belief in those days. Until the second coming of Christ, John would be alive. That's how they were believing. My dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus said to Peter, he will be there until I come. So what he was saying is that, Every disciple has to live with God. Every disciple has to be in union with God. And secondly, Jesus is saying that he will live. He is saying that this life is meant for eternity. Everyone's life is meant for eternity. You and I, we are living. This life is meant for eternity to, to live with God. And that's what Jesus was saying. To Peter, but they have understood that this man, John, would not die. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we compare with others. So, what happens in comparison? Sometimes we compare, we envy the possessions that other people have, maybe the things. Or sometimes we also envy the social status that people enjoy. Hey, they are good. They are in high ranking. We don't have that. And sometimes we envy also the talents, the skills others are having. So now, for us to grow, we need to stop comparing as soon as possible. As up. We need to stop comparing. The moment the thought comes, stop comparing any aspect you find with others. Because when we stop comparing, then there is a process of growth. Secondly, we need to focus on the unique qualities that we have. So we may not have the qualities or the things that I am comparing myself with others, but I may have extra qualities. Focus on that and thank God. That's why it is said, 
a belief in yourself, a solid belief in one's own abilities increased life satisfaction by 40 percent. So, when you believe yourself, when you focus on the qualities you have, then the life satisfaction increases by 40 percent. So, when we begin to compare and then feel sad and envy and then there is anger, then 40 percent of satisfaction is lost. And thirdly, we need to extend our comparison in the sense, do not focus on only one thing, but you begin to see that a person is not only having this, but he may be also having some problems. So, when you extend your comparison, then sometimes you say that you are better off, then you are living a satisfied life. And then sometimes we need to live with a person that we envy, may be very difficult. No, I, I envy the person, but you are asking me to live with that person. Why he says, when you live with that person, then you will also know that the person also has different problems. Then you begin to say, okay, is also like me, then you will live your life. And fifth point is that we need to turn off the TV in the sense, when I am envying somebody's possessions, things, then I keep watching in TV so many things like car and many, many things, then I say, oh, I do not have this, I do not have this then you do not enjoy the program, but you begin to envy more and you have more jealousy. So, my dear brothers and sisters, so today Jesus is saying to Peter, Peter you follow me, do not think about John. He say, what about John? Peter said, no you follow me, you mind your business. So, Jesus is not saying, okay, is not saying that you should be irresponsible, that you need to be selfish, no, not individuality, but he is saying what is primary, you need to give importance to that. These are all comparing with others, these are all trivial matters, do not focus, because by doing this, then you are not going to grow. And that is what all the mystics, mystics my brothers and sisters, all these uh, saints who are called as mystics, those who are gone to contemplation, they just lived their life. They were faithful to Jesus, they were faithful to Jesus and his teachings, they were not comparing with others and that is why they lived uh, their life with great spiritual satisfaction. So, also we need to do that my dear brothers and sisters. So, today we are focusing on only two aspects, one is Jesus is saying, do not compare with others, just you follow me and that is what he said to Peter, to all of us Jesus is saying, follow me. And secondly, do not begin to compare with others, that comparison will lead to envy, envy leads to anger and gossip and that will need, that will not help you to grow. So, therefore, he says, do not compare, do not think of a John but just you follow me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, so also we, Jesus is saying follow me and then he is saying do not compare and then do not, uh, uh, you will stop growing. So, let us uh, reflect on these two aspects in our own life and sometimes we also envy, we compare and we follow, in, we follow into this, uh, we fall into this mistake. Let us put forth our petitions, God our Heavenly Father, today I surrender our Pope Francis, all our bishops, priests, nuns and all the catechists, Lord wherever they are preaching, wherever they are evangelizing, may you be with them. 
and as they are spreading your kingdom building your kingdom may you bless them and fill them with your grace for this grace we pray lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer to god today i surrender the vivarti tv and all its personnel lord bless them and bless those families who are working here and lord bless also those individuals and families who are supporting the vivarti tv through their prayers and financial support and lord today i also pray for the intentions that are offered for this mass for this grace we pray lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer loving god today as we have reflected that the main object of our life is that we need to follow you and sometimes we compare with others we envy and we go into our anger and then we stop growing lord the main thing that you are asking all of us is to follow you with commitment and may you grant us all this all this grace and especially following you and living our christian life for this grace we pray lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer loving god everywhere all over the world corona the pandemic situation is really increasing many are suffering and especially lord our country india is suffering a lot lord i surrender india and all its ill situation right now lord may you come and eradicate this covid 19 and especially the second wave lord i surrender all the victims of corona virus lord forgive their sins and grant eternal rest and lord all those people who are being treated at home or in the hospital may you touch and heal them bless all our catholic families all those who are praying may you be with them strengthen them fill them with grace so that they may not lose their faith we make this prayer through christ our lord amen, amen. God be praised to you accept this humble gift we place before you sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and our good of all his holy church may the holy spirit coming near we pray o lord prepare our minds for the divine sacrament since the spirit himself is the remission of all sins through christ our lord Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. 
for after his resurrection he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest hosanna 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 in the highest hosanna 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 in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna 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 in the high hosanna 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 in the high indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me <laughs> the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death lord jesus christ therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope paul anthony our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. my faith in you O oh Lord is my hope in you O oh Lord is my love in you O oh Lord is my trust you are my Savior my Redeemer You are my Savior My Redeemer Come into my heart compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, 
So with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mother of 